Time now for the fairy tale Sunday morning news on the Sunday morning, July 12th, 2015. Good morning to you all this lovely Sunday morning, July 12th, 2015 here. Here are your news that I'm there and our tops are here. Eight o'clock here on this Sunday morning here is in Mexico City where top dog, top drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman has done what Mexican authorities promised would not happen again after his recapture last year, escaped for a second time from a maximum security prison in Brussels, which is how it's left for a deal to keep Greece in Europe's government currency. European finance ministers resumed negotiations Sunday after a day of fruitless talks and indicated that a decision on whether to cut Greece adrift or open the way. For Bob Kutowski, the opportunity to see Donald Trump fresh, vibrant, and apologetic as ever, as well as worth the three hour drive north from his home near the U.S. border in Arizona. The father of a six month old cowboy baby is considered to be a person of interest in her disappearance becoming a subject. London, Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer are separated by no more than the width of the three, says a paper on which they had matched results of Britain coming into Wimbledon men's final on Sunday. They are split dead evenly in a dozen previous Grand Slams. Volunteers carry some of the 136 coffins of the newly invited victims in the 1995 Serenica Massacre to their graves during the 20th anniversary of the massacre at the Pachkar Cemetery and Memorial on Saturday in Srebrenica, Bosnia and Herzegovina as grad chase the Serbian Prime Minister as more victims are buried. In Beijing, a typhoon pandemic the Chinese coast south of Shanghai on Saturday with strong winds and heavy rainfall, submerged roads, fallen trees, and forced the evacuation of 1.1 million people. In Sana'a, Saudi-led warplanes bombarded Yemeni rebels at dawn today witnesses that it a new blow to the UN proposed troops in an impoverished country where millions are threatened with famine. Islamic State militants say they have behind a deadly explosion that severely damaged the Intel consulate in Egypt's capital, Cairo. In Nazi City, Florida, a Confederate flag flies from a vehicle right during a rally to show support for the American and Confederate flags on Saturday in Lock 2 Florida as the Confederate flags were stolen in Georgia and Delaware. In a Rhode Island Beach was evacuated Saturday while a bomb squad investigated an apparent explosion on the salty Bryan Beach in Narragansett and an injured woman in the 40s said. She was discovered by someone in the indigenous that there was really struck a chord while all Boston is all New England Dan Conley, Suffolk County District Attorney told CNN as help corps in the Girl, baby doe found in Massachusetts. Convicted Boston Marathon bomber Jaws on could stand trial and then the state charges up for the murder of a police officer despite being on death row at a federal prison and reports said it Saturday. Two robbers have been arrested in Friday for two robbers have been arrested in Florida for allegedly seizing an ATM from a local bank armed with nothing but a back the suspect Spencer Sardana is fifty three and Jesus entered a sanctuary's 50 living room by a close to the where arrested on Saturday. In New York, a competitor of rudder error that granted hundreds of 99 flights on Wednesday is just brief of what can go wrong for carriers and with grisly automated operations, experts say. The New York Step Exchange leadership proved the big board's irrelevance Wednesday as it halted training for nearly four hours and investors didn't flinch. All right, look at that new.
Alright, let's move on on sports where the Boston Red Sox defeat the New York Yankees last night at Fenway Park. 5-3 here as the Red Sox and the Yankees wrap up the finale of the three-game series and wrap up the first half of the regular season as the Red Sox scrub against the Yankees with Wade Miner and the man for the Red Sox while Nathan Devaldi going to man for the Yankees today. Overcome some early and late nerves. Serena Williams charged her six Wimbledon title on Saturday, dispatching first time finalists. Gabby Magrenza, 6 4 6 4 to win the first three legs of the 2015 Grand Slam, becoming the first woman to achieve. Wimbledon, England. Andy Murray had a tough call today as the local tennis club fighting. He lost in the semi final men's singles to Roger Federer and Wimbledon center court, and on Saturday, he walked from the seats of the same court. And Martina Hinges and Sonny Merzak laying double title as Martina Hinges is a woman champion once again, 17 years at exactly half her life until her last time. I already remember the International Tennis Hall of Fame and the merits of her first career in the sport. In Las Vegas, the most incredible thing on Saturday evening. And that means something because it happened after a night of full of incredible things was the way the Irish celebrated it after Conor McGregor knocked out Chad Mendes in the second round. Jordan Speed per and had the open championship and after a standing 6 1 in an Illinois and a John Deere open. Peter Jell News on 807 here on this. Sunday morning here and it is time now for a. For a Trevor Board here. It's smooth sailing our ways by ways in New England here on this Sunday morning here. And we're seeing a few accidents here. It's 95. And <laughs> 95 and stop once I got an accident around Route 1 in Atterbury. So expect a few delays here. 152 on the north offense side. It did slow before Route 1 in Plainville here. And Mass Park the West Bad side got some accidents around Route 495 and West Burst expect some delays here, but otherwise you're good to go. We're at 101 on the West Bad side, so it's a little slow around Route 95 and afternoon after here. Ninety-five on the main turn back looking good from Kittery, I guess it as it's smooth sound on a Sunday morning here, and looking at the MBTA here. Subway system is looking good here. On the Camille Rail, it's looking good in the ferry stop. Smooth sailing here. Peter Tell News Time is now 8.09 here on this. Sunday morning here. And it is time now for a weather report here. All right, time now for a weather report here. Air quality alert in effect from 11 a.m. this morning to 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening here. The Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection has issued an air quality action day for Grand Level Ozone in effect from 11 a.m. this morning to 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. An air quality action day means that Grand Level Ozone concentration within the region may approach or exceed unhealthy standards.
All right, day one tonight. Tonight, air quality alert is day two to seven, Monday for Saturday. No hazard weather expected at this time. Here. All right, seven day forecast that goes like this. There. For today, St. Cloud, I'm at 89 degrees. What's for about 3 to 7 miles an hour here? Tonight, most of the good skies are at 64 degrees. South for about 3 to 6 miles an hour here. Monday, most of the skies are at 85 degrees. Cloud will be coming to at 5 to 7 miles an hour in the morning here. Monday night, change your showers and thunderstorms may have to 3 a.m. Punch your got to 3 a.m. wise. Most of the good skies are low at 63 degrees. South for about 5 miles per hour coming to the need your chest pace to 30%. So today, change your showers and thunderstorms and showers like the most. We get thunderstorms up until 1 p.m. Some of the put it every way. Punch your miles before 9 a.m. wise. Clouds got them higher at 8 degrees. Cold wave came in separate at 5 to 7 miles per hour afternoon. Chest page at 6 set. So that, chest your showers at that sort. Some sort of scooters every rain. Pet 12 after 9 p.m. was. Clouds got them lower at 6 to 6 degrees. Chest page at 50%. Wednesday, chest your showers at that sort. Some sort of scooters every rain. Pet 12 before 10 a.m. was. Most clouds got them at 82 degrees. Clock, chest page at 40%. What's that? Chance of showers before midnight. Punch your mouth after 10 p.m. Mars. Most gas got at low at 6 water degrees. Chest page to 30%. Thursday, punch out of most gas got at about 78 to about 38 degrees. Friday, Saturday, most clear skies have about 81 to about 63 degrees. And for Saturday, most sides got at about 84 degrees. Here, Norton temperature at 8 13 a.m. 74 degrees, humidity 6 percent It's clear skies. That's me, Fair. The Peter Chell, Sunday morning news on this Sunday morning, July 12th, 2015. I'm Peter C. Good morning with a good positive attitude. See you for an afternoon report. Here.